What's going on, guys? Zuko back with another War Within video. Hope you're all doing very, very well. We're having a dramatic uh, flying entrance this time. I just had to go grab some more flasks so I can show you this new build, potentially, that we're going to be doing in 11.0.5. Okay, so here, let me just... Uh, let me, okay, we'll turn this kind of... Okay. Yo, what's good, guys? <laughs> Here's what we're looking at today. We are going to look at the Totemic build. This is something people have been asking me for in the comments. Um... A lot of people have been asking about this. It, Zuko, is there a totemic build in 11.0.5, which is like four days away now or something, or three days? Yeah, four days away. My answer is going to be, I think there will be. I think it could compete with a Stormbringer-based build. My suspicion, if you want the TLDR, my suspicion is that a Storm-based Elementalist build is still probably going to be the strongest of all the builds, which is kind of the one that gets played right now on live servers. But I think there's a place for Totemic. I think it there's a build that does a lot of damage right now. It really does. So I don't want to discredit it at all. I want to show you what it can do, okay? There's been some massive changes to the Totemic tree, if you didn't know. And I want to explain those right now. Whirling Elements got a massive change. Get to that in a second. You're, uh, you're going to get a free hot hand from Whirling Elements, and then your hot hand Lava Lashes are going to proc a Sundering, which I'll show you in a minute as well. That's brand new. Lively Totems still summons a um, a little uh, Searing Bolt Totem. It doesn't do a lot of damage. It's still kind of irrelevant. But Reactivity, now that it got reworked to include hot hand, is very, very good. Imbuement Mastery has changed a bit where it gives you a higher chance to proc Wind Fury weapon and its damage. That was there before. But now you have a Flame Tongue Wind Fury interaction and it can cause this whirl of flame to do extra damage. So your Flame Tongue weapon is a much more important piece of the puzzle now. Okay. And then I'm taking supportive imbuements to make the critical strike chance of Flame Tongue weapon um, much, much higher. And its crit damage is doubled, which is really cool. You could do Surging Totem, which is also a very good option. Okay. Let's look at Whirling Elements. I've covered this in another video, but I'm going to cover it again right now, and then I'm going to show you the build. They changed all the buffs that you get. Your Air One now says your next Lightning Bolt, Chain Lightning, or Ellie Blast unleashes three Surging Bolts at your Surging Totem. Remember, that is going to rebound off the Totem and do a little bit of damage, and then it's going to buff the Totem's damage every time it rebounds. So... As soon as you drop your Totem, you're going to press a Spender of some kind as quickly as you can, and... You're going to get 1, 2, 3, 30% more damage on your Surging Totem right away because of the air buff. That's really cool, okay? Earth buff, direct damage of your next Flame Shock is increased by 300%, and it's applied to five nearby enemies. <clears throat> this is really cool for the beginning of every single pack, and it will change your rotation. You're going to go Totem into Flame Shock now every single time because you're going to get your Totem down, and you're going to get an instant five-person Flame Shock right away, which is amazing. That's really good, okay? Now, it. The, I'll, I'll do a little caveat here. I've submitted a bug report to Blizzard. It does not work with Primordial Wave. So if I go uh, Surging Totem into Primordial Wave, it doesn't spread the, the Flame Shock to five people, which is really dumb. It should do that, because Primordial Wave adds a Flame Shock. So I don't know why they haven't done it that way, but um, I've submitted a bug report. We'll see if they fix it in time. They probably won't at this point, which means your opener can get a little clunky where it's like, uh, surging Totem, Flame Shock, Primordial Wave, then Lightning Bolt. It's not super clunky. I'll show you in a second, but it's a little clunky, okay? Here's the biggest buff. The Fire one is the biggest one by far. Your next Lava Lash or Fire Nova grants you Hot Hands for eight seconds. This is amazing because the whole build revolves around getting a Hot Hand proc. And of course, you can get your own Natty Hot Hand procs, but you can also get one from World. You're going to get a guaranteed one from your Surging Totem every 24 seconds. So the consistency of your hot hand damage is going to go way up, which is really good. Now, little interaction to understand here. If you have a hot hand proc that you've gotten naturally, and then you put your totem down and you press Lava Lash and you get another hot hand proc because of Whirling Elements, it will just extend your current hot hand window. It doesn't override it. It just extends it, which is the best case scenario. Okay? Okay, I'm back. I literally had to get a whole new character because Fire Nova wasn't working. I'm still not sure that it will, but I think I think it probably will. We're in Dornigal now, and we're going to do a five-target test dummy here. I'm going to show you the rotation. As I was saying, 
I think your rotation is going to change a little bit because of the way that these buffs are now coming out. As I said before, Primordial Wave does not proc the Flame Shock buff. So we're going to need to start with Surging Totem into Flame Shock. Okay, and it's going to spread on its own. So we don't want to press Lava Lash right away, which is really nice. Then we want to go Primordial Wave into a Lightning Bolt because the Lightning Bolt is going to trigger the Air Bonus, which gives, which means our Surging Totem is going to start to do extra damage. And, of course, we get our Haste buff rolling with Splintered Elements, okay? So Surging Totem, Flame Shock, Primordial Wave, and then we'll maybe do like a Crash Lightning to build the Maelstrom Weapon Stacks and then a Lightning Bolt, okay? And then we're going to go Doom Winds, into our hot hand window with lava lash because remember we get a guaranteed lava lash proc from the fire buff okay from whirling elements so there we go totem <clears throat> flame shock okay primordial wave crash lightning okay lightning bolt let me do doom winds and then we go hot hand window then we're gonna tab target around we have a lot of haste right now we're gonna do a fire nova but we don't even need to really there you go we have so many lava lashes like it's crazy this is what i was talking about earlier um sorry i was talking in, in another video about how having the automatic feral spirits really helps with your gcds right because enhancement shaman is so crunched for gcds it's crazy primordial wave again okay we'll go every time we're pressing lava lash by the way when it when we've got hot hand we're sending out a sundering that's why you're hearing the crash the kind of sundering crash noise going on okay here comes our totem again totem we're gonna use a spender to make the totem do more damage then we do sundering now we're into our hot hand window this is what's so cool about this build you keep getting hot hand windows over and over and over again it just happens all the time which is amazing that's like an awesome little bonus okay we're gonna go primordial wave lightning bolt doom winds and then we go back we're gonna get our totem back here i'm gonna go totem into fire nova that gives us a hot hand window as well you don't have to hit Lava Lash to get the Hot Hand window. You can hit Fire Nova or Hailstorm if you're doing that build. I'm just tab targeting around. There's another Fire Nova. There's another Hot Hand or Lava Lash. And there you go. I'll sort of end it there. So our, we were sustaining almost 3 million on five targets. So that's pretty good, right? <laughs> Those are pretty good numbers. I am in decked out gear. I'm 324. My weapons are only heroic weapons, though. And I don't even have them enchanted or anything. Because this is just PT. I haven't even enchanted them yet. So my trinkets aren't really that great for enhancement shaman. So just keep it all in mind, okay? Keep an open mind about this stuff when it comes to the damage. So here's what it looks like. Surging Totem does a ton of damage. Why? Because we have Alpha Wolf, so all the dogs that we're summoning for free give us a physical damage buff, which buffs Surging Totem and Fire Nova and Sundering, but mostly Surging Totem, right? And our Surging Totem is getting the extra procs of the um, Totemic Rebound whenever we summon our Totem and we use a Spender. So that's why I'm trying to summon my Totem and hit like Chain Lightning right away so that it gets the triple bounce and then we're doing a bunch of damage with the Totem. That's how you maximize your Totem's damage, okay? Flame Shock's doing big damage because we're tab targeting around with our Lava Lashes and our uptime on Lava Lash is huge now because we have Hot Hand procs for days. So our Lava Lash cooldown is like always two seconds, basically. It's like Lava Lash something, Lava Lash something else, Lava Lash something else, right? That's what you're doing. Sundering, Fire Nova doing big damage. Again, all of these are getting buffed. Surging Totem, Sundering, Fire Nova are all getting buffed by our wolves. The alpha wolf that we're getting from our spirit wolves there, right? There's Doom Winds down there. There's Wind Fury and then Flame Tongue. So there's some flexibility with this build. I think you could definitely go Pulse Capacitor if you just want to totally maximize your Surging Totem damage and not do any Flame Tongue stuff. That is probably perfectly fine. You can also run Hailstorm with this build if you want to. If you're going to run Hailstorm, I would suggest you take Elemental Spirits instead of Alpha Wolf. This is more of the, the physical slash fire build that I wanted to introduce here. Like I've talked about it before, but this is kind of how it works now. The major changes, as I said before, is that you're going to drop your totem and then you're going to drop a fire uh, flame shock right away to get free spreading of the flame shock. Cries and Ellie Shaman, right? 
and um, then you can kind of hold on to your hot hand window for a second, <clears throat> get your other buffs rolling, like Primordial Wave, like Doom Winds, then get into the big hot hand window, and your Lava Lash is going to end up doing a ton of extra damage. It's going to be splashing, but really, the big part of the damage that's coming through is the Sundering damage. That's coming from this uh, node reactivity right here, right? Whenever you have hot hand active, your Lava Lash will also cast Sundering. Sundering is uncapped, right? So in terms of AoE... You've got Crash Lightning that's uncapped. You're getting these Sundering procs from your Lava Lash that's uncapped. Um, your Doom Winds AoE is kind of uncapped, which isn't that much damage. But your Fire Nova isn't uncapped, but it does. It hits a lot of targets, right? It hits a tremendous amount of targets. So I really like this build. I think it works very, very well with the updated Whirling Elements buffs, with the new Flowing Spirits talent, with the new talent tree and kind of how it's set up in general. I think it works very, very well. And I think it produces a lot of damage, guys. Almost 3 million sustained DPS on 5 targets is crazy. If you took this up to 8 or 10 targets, it would just do way more damage um, once you got to that number. So the quality of life here is also huge with this Swirling Elements. Like being able to just drop a Totem and then drop your Flame Shock on every opening pack and get 5 Flame Shocks for free is really crazy value, right? That's just really, really crazy value. So I like it. I like that we're taking Fire Nova here versus Hailstorm again. You can run Hailstorm. I just think it's going to cramp your GCDs once again, where you're really going to have to be careful what GCD you're using when, and you're going to have to maximize every single GCD to make sure it's perfect. If you're taking Fire Nova, it alleviates that problem because Fire Nova is a 13-second cooldown versus Frost Shock being a 5-second cooldown, which is even it's even less once you get Primordial Wave going, right? So this is my idea for a Fire build. I think it works quite well. Would love to hear what you guys think in the comments down below. What do you think about the updated Whirling Elements buffs? What do you think about Flowing Spirits getting added into the build? Um, I think they work very, very well, but I would love to hear what you guys think as always. Thank you so much again for watching. I'm going to continue to cover more stuff that's coming up next week in 11.0.5 when it launches, so stay tuned for that, okay? Thank you so much again for watching. Love you all. I'll see you in the next one.